So welcome to this webinar. Uh, my name is Zelda, and uh, as just Ingmar mentioned, I am uh, one of the regional sales managers here at Scandidus. So we are here today to talk about the wireless Delta 4 Phantom Plus system that offers the most accurate and most efficient verifications of your IMRT, VMAT, Halcyon, Radixac, Tomotherapy, and MR Linux plants. So Scandidus offer a family of products covering QA from planning, where we have our secondary plan dose calculation system based on Monte Carlo, the Delta 4 TPV, and to final fraction, where we have our transmission detector, the Delta 4 Discover. But for the pretreatment verification phase, we have the Delta 4 Phantom Plus. And the questions to be answered here are, is the plan deliverable? Is the plan correctly transferred to the accelerator control system? Is the machine capable of delivering the plan? Uh, how is the MLC performance? And is the leakage correctly modeled in the TPS? So for that, Scandidus has introduced the new Delta IV pretreatment system. It has been redesigned from bottom up with the next generation detector technology. The Delta IV Phantom Plus offers faster setup where alignment is done in seconds with clear markers on the Phantom that allows for accurate positioning of the Phantom. Easier measurements by having the Phantom instantly ready for measurement without any warm up. So you just turn on the power and you are ready to measure. And also less and easier calibration procedures. With this, the Delta IV Phantom Plus enables an efficient workflow where at least six complex plans can be verified within an hour. The Delta IV Phantom Plus also offers easy handling, and this is because the system is completely wireless. The communication to the PC is done through Wi-Fi, so no communication cable is needed. The system is battery operated and therefore no power cable is needed either. The capacity of the battery is more than four hours, but if you would run out of battery, then you can charge it while using the Phantom. And with electrometer technology that is much faster, the detection of the pulse of the dose pulse from the accelerator can now be done by the internal electronics, which eliminates the trigger cable. However, we still measure pulse by pulse, which is the most accurate and the only way to ensure that individual control point doses can be measured. The Delta IV Phantom Plus uses highly stable detectors with a sensitivity degree of only 0.04% per kilogray. So it needs more than 25 kilograys to lose 1% sensitivity. So if you would do a lot of QA, say around 500 QA cases per year with a mean uh, fraction dose of two grays, which is one kilogray per year, the detectors would remain within 1% for 25 years. So the need for recalibration of the detectors is reduced to once every 25 years. And 25 years is longer than the lifetime of the system itself. So therefore, there would be no need to perform relative recalibration nor directional recalibration at the clinic. The cylindrical phantom also has inserts for different ionization chambers. This allows the absolute dose to be verified with an ionization chamber directly in the phantom. It also allows the absolute calibration to be performed without any disassembly of the phantom. And this is convenient when you want to do calibrations on different accelerators more often or more often due to regulatory requirements. Inserts are available for common cylindrical chambers like the farmer, the Simusplex, and, and, and so on. Another feature is that the system offers independent check of absolute point dose. The geometry of the detectors in the Delta IV Phantom Plus has a plus configuration, hence the name Phantom Plus. 
This is a patented configuration based on two orthogonal detector planes aligned in the cardinal directions in a fixed geometry, providing full coverage of the cross section of any beam direction. Thereby, the intensity modulation of the treatment delivery can be verified without missing any data. This also means that we now measure in the sagittal and coronal planes. And this is often preferred as it corresponds to the planes that are used when the patient is planned in the TPS. A superior advantage of the detector design with the two orthogonal detector planes is that it provides real measurements in the isocentric target region and steep dose gradient regions with high accuracy. Hence, those in the target region and the OR can be evaluated without the need of reconstructing the dose. In total, the detector planes contains 1,069 P-type silicon diodes. In the central 6 by 6 square centimeter region of each detector plane, the resolution is 5 millimeters. Outside of this region, the resolution is 10 millimeters. The resolution in the isocenter can be increased to 2.5 millimeters by merging fields. The merging method allows for fields with lengths up to 38 centimeters in the superior inferior dimension to be measured. The fixed configuration of the detectors benefits the resolution compared to moving detectors coordinate systems where the smearing effect of the measurement dose is present. Another advantage of the configuration of the detector planes is that the target dose and the dose homogeneity in the target are typically measured in several hundred detectors. Here, I would like to start by mentioning that all our products are integrated in the same software, the Delta Force software, which of course decreases the learning curve significantly. So if you are already a user of the Delta Force software, then you would be all set up to use it for any other of our Delta Force family products. And this is the Delta Force interface. The Delta Force software is a genuinely intuitive software decreasing the learning curve and providing easy navigation between patient measurements and analysis. The Delta Force QA process is fully automated. QA results and pass and fail analysis, including dose deviation, distance to agreement, and gamma index, are available instantly without any further processing. And since measurements are made in the target, the, re the re relevant dose, sorry, is instantly available when the irradiation has been delivered. The delivered dose is then instantly compared with the planned dose and analyzed against your pass and fail criteria. If the measurement agrees with the plan, then the plan can be approved instantly. Since the data we measure can directly be compared to the TPS calculated dose in the position of the detectors, the comparison can be done directly with no processing of data. Therefore, with the Delta IV software, you can be most confident that the data used in your analysis is of highest accuracy. In other words, no black boxes that filters the data. In most cases, users do not have to go beyond this step as long as the measurement agrees with the plan. However, in case there are anomalies or deviations, the Delta IV software provides powerful tools to use and find the root, the root cause of the deviations. However, I will not go through the different analysis tools provided by the Delta Force software during this presentation. And this is because we will have a dedicated session about the Delta Force software that will be held by one of my colleagues on Tuesday, that is 1st of December at 10.15 a.m. Central European time. So if you would like to learn more about the Delta Force software, please join us on Tuesday again. The Delta IV Phantom Plus also offers easy handling and fast setup within three minutes, where the Phantom is easily and ergonomically transferred to the treatment couch using the Delta IV trolley with no lifting required. So let's now have a look at why the Delta IV Phantom Plus is better than EPID. First of all, the EPID is not, an intended, is not intended for decimetry measurements. 
it is an imaging system. And for it to be used as dosimetry system, one needs to do time-consuming commissioning, and this is also due to the nonlinear dose response in the system. This then results in low accuracy and low contrast. The EPID is a 2D array system, which requires reconstructions to get the, the dose in 3D. And we all know that as soon as you apply any kind of reconstructions, you lower the accuracy. Although the investment cost may, might be low since the EPID is usually included in a purchase of the Linux machine, the EPID will be expensive in the long run since it is not made for exposure of high doses routinely. So using it for dosimetry measurement will shorten its life time and therefore increasing the costs in the long run. Since the EPID system is delivered by the same vendor as the Linux itself and is actually a part of the Linux, it is not an independent system. And according to the TG218, it is recommended to do patient-specific QA with a stationary measurement device placed on the treatment couch. Also here we have competitor analysis where we are comparing the Delta 4 Phantom Plus with a wrapped 2D array and a rotating 2D array. So comparing dyes with, dyes with ionization chambers, ionization chambers have relatively large volume potentially resulting in a loss of accuracy due to the volume averaging effect which is a characteristic for ionization chambers in modulated fields. To actually measure in the target and steep dose gradient regions provides real measurements with the highest accuracy. The Delta IV Phantom Plus has highest resolution with 2.5 millimeters at isocenter. And with our highly stable detectors, the Delta IV Phantom Plus requires no relative recalibration. With our intuitive and very fast Delta IV software, you get instant an analysis results as soon as you hit beam off. And due to the configuration of the detector planes, the 3D gamma analysis is based on actual measurements. Our system is the only completely wireless system. And as I just recently showed you, the Delta IV trolley provides easy and ergonomic handling of the Phantom. And the Delta IV Phantom Plus is compatible for quality assurance for all different kinds of treatment techniques delivered by not only all conventional Linux, but also Halcyon, MR Linux, and tomotherapy machines. On our website, you can, you can of course find all publications that have been published about our products and also customer cases. And here is a small selection of our customer reference sites around the world. And thank you so much for listening. And please, if you have any questions, just type them down and I will try my best to, to answer them for you. Thank you. Thank you, Selga. Very, very nice presentation. Uh, we actually, we do have uh, one question. Yeah. What is the lifespan of the battery? Um, I, I would say it's uh, the, the same uh, as the Phantom itself. Uh, Ingmar, please, if you know anything different, please, you can then just add to my comment. Yeah, I mean, they, we have been uh, selling the, the Phantom Plus now for several years, and I don't know that we have uh, actually selling and we are selling uh, batteries as a, as a spare part. So, yeah, so but... I would say it, it's probably something in the same order of the, uh, the, Phantom. Of the Phantom itself. Yeah, I have the same experience. I haven't heard of any customer needing to buy a new set of batteries because they, they are broken. Mm. But we do, of course, provide if, you, if a customer would want to, to purchase a, uh, an extra setup of batteries, then that's, that is possible.
Yes. Okay, I have another question. What temporal resolution does the Delta IV has? So the Phantom measures 25 milliseconds um, at a time, but without any pause until the next pulse is detected. Uh, and this gives give us also uh, that we have zero death time. Uh, so the next measurement will start instantly after these 25 milliseconds. Okay. Um, another question then. Um, uh, can the Delta IV Phantom be used for verification of SRS and SBRT plans? Yes, the Delta IV Phantom Plus can be used for SRS and SBRT. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the resolution of the Phantom is five millimeters in the central six by six area. But looking at the detector planes from the beam's eye view, um, the fixed configuration of the detector planes yields narrower uh, detector spacing. Uh, and this depends on the beam angle, of course. And this results in a higher effective spatial resolution than five millimeters. So you could say five minimum five millimeters in the angles of the detector plane. So zero, um, 90, 180, and 270, but much higher resolution for all other angles. And I would also like to mention that another, as, and as I also mentioned during the presentation, that another advantage of the fixed configuration of the detector planes is that it benefits the resolution compared to a movie detector coordinate system where the smearing effect of the measured dose is uh, present. Okay, thank you. Let's take another question. Um, do we need to perform the absolute calibration of the Phantom in a regular schedule, for instance, monthly? Well, that would be up to the clinic, of course, what routines you have at your clinic. Um, the uh, absolute dose calibration is done for the first time when the system is being installed. Uh, and for instance, here in Sweden, I know that regulatory requirements, uh, they require that um, we do absolute dose recalibration once every year. So this is typically done together with the annual QA, the general QA of the, of the LINAC. Um, but I mean, um, the Phantom uh, provides very easy uh, calibration procedure uh, and, and it's very easy to do it monthly if you would like to. So okay. th thank you very much, Selga, for this very nice presentation. Well, and thank you and thank you everyone for listening. And please, if you would have any uh, further questions, just contact us, uh, come and visit us on our booth during Estro, and we are here for you.